friends, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host Stoss and today I have Maddie B with me. And we are back for another game of Warhammer Fantasy Skirmish 6th Edition. Yes, we are back for another one. We enjoyed it so much. Yeah. We wanted a second helping. <laughs> um, so yes, again, it's going to be Bretonians against the beast men. The beast men, the beastiest of men. And yes, the, the, the lady loving Bretonians. <laughs> we love the lady. Um, and so yeah, we have expanded our forces out a little bit. Um, we've gone from 150 points up to 200. Uh, Matty B's brought a couple of models from his yeah. collection to add in. Um, uh, we've got a Minotaur that is currently on a circular base. Sorry. Ah, it's fine. Look, in Skirmish it really doesn't matter. Um, it's a big base, but it's good. It'll be getting updated for your army eventually yeah. onto square bases. But for now, in Skirmish, she's sweet. Uh, we're going to be playing a little custom scenario today as well, which should be pretty sweet. Now, don't forget, if you enjoy this video, like, subscribe, you know, give me that big thumbs up. You know, help this little channel keep on growing its way out. You can be a part of it. But without any further ado, let's have a look at the warbands. We'll have a look at the table and then we will get this underway. And here we have my 198 point list of Bretonians led down the front by my paladin, Sir Theodric the Bold. He's back, he's got the same loadout, just your basic knightly loadout of heavy armor, shield, hand weapon, lance, and barded a Bretonian steed. Um, this time he has brought his cousin, um, uh, Sir, Sir Leopold. Sir Leopold, uh, part of his using his house colors has come. A knight known only as the Griffin Knight. And of course, his boon companion, he was not actually dead, just seriously wounded at the end of the last battle. It is Sir Godfrey. Sir Godfrey, the boon companion of Sir Theodric. And then we have two house men-at-arms uh, for Theodric, and three house men-at-arms from Sir Godfrey. Uh, all armed with light armor, shields, hand weapons, and halberds. And then lastly, we have three foresters slash peasant bowmen. And that is it. That is the force. Couple of extra knights added to the group. That is my 198 points of Bretonians. And here we have Maddie B's 199 point Beastman Warband. Take us through it, Maddie B. I oh know. Uh, Gashra Korntung has returned as our war gore with great weapon and chaos armor. Heck yeah. It is brought with him this time Gore Snout, his chaos warhound. Beautiful. Uh, behind him we have the two Vestigors with great weapons and heavy armor. Yep, here they are. They're still terrifying. They didn't do a whole lot last game, but you know, maybe this game. And then behind them again we have the four Gores. Uh, two of which are with hand weapons and shields and two of which are with dual hand weapons. Beautiful, the Gores. Our meat shield at the back, who will be at the front again, <laughs> um, are the five ungles of spears and shield. Ah, just four this time, my oh, friend. Four, we, right. had to, we had to sacrifice one. The <laughs> yes, yes, indeed, we, we fed one to that, to that <laughs> minotaur. <laughs> at the back, big ox, the minotaur with the light armor. And a great weapon. And a great weapon. Yes, light armor, great weapon, minotaur. And there it is, that is the 199 point Bray Herd of the Beastmen. Okay, and here we are, all deployed and set up for this game of Warhammer Fantasy Skirmish 6th Edition. So, the uh, the basic kind of narrative we've got going on here is that uh, Sir Theodric, um, a paladin of Bretonia, was approached by a mysterious knight, declaring himself only as the Griffin Knight. And this knight warned him of a uh, a beast man warband that has been raiding around the outskirts of his um, of his domain of his you know his area of control his realm if you will, um, and you know Theodric having heard uh, something very similar before having already encountered beast men in the woods surrounding his area, um, is immediately piqued his interest is immediately piqued by this. And so, of course, he gathers together some of his loyal men-at-arms, you know, his, uh, his boon companion, Sir Godfrey, and this time he brings along his young cousin, 
Sir Leopold as well. And all four knights strike out, bringing a small collection of loyal Bre uh, retainers, loyal Bretonian retainers, to head out to said settlement out on the outskirts of Sir Theodric's lands. And, and here it is. This is the little settlement. Um, the, the occupants of the settlement have since, you know, have already fled or are hiding inside the, uh, the, 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 the buildings, completely unable to defend themselves or the place, but they are here waiting to be rescued. And of course, we have the Beastman Warburn, Warburn, Warband, the Bray Herd have turned up to sack and destroy it to bring down civilization, which they hate oh so much. <laughs> um, so the scenario that we're playing is a variation on the town raid scenario from the, um, the extra skirmish supplement that was released during 6th edition. Um, so basically, the aim of the game is to destroy the other force. However, um, I am trying to protect these three buildings, and Matty B is trying to burn them down. <laughs> Indeed. So the way the the points are scored, if you anytime you remove a model from play, that will be a single point. Um, however, if Matty B manages to burn one of these buildings down, each one is worth five points. And the way you do that is if you are in base contact with the building, um, you can, on a roll of four plus, try and set it alight. Um, and each time you set it alight, at the end of the turn, if a building has, you know, a, a, a burning marker, if it's got a, you know, we're going to use little tokens to show that it has a burning marker on it, you will take a wound. They have five wounds in total. Um, so, and then I can also attempt to put a building out. If I get a model into it, again on a 4+, plus, I can attempt to remove one of those burning markers. Now, Matty B gets multiple burning tokens on it. That means at the end of each round, it'll be losing that amount of wounds, equal to the amount of tokens on it. So, and yes, they're worth five points each. If they just get damaged at all, they are worth a single point. Um, but if he destroys them completely, they are worth five. And at the end of the game, whether they're damaged or not, if they're not completely destroyed, each one of those is worth five points to me. The game lasts for six turns. Um, uh, normal route conditions are in effect for the way we're playing it. And as of last time, we have to lose 50% of our models to take a route chest. Um, and we're not just doing a full warband route. We're doing a model by model leadership test to see if they flee the field. So, that is the scenario. We're trying to kill each other, he's trying to burn my buildings, and I am trying to keep them safe. So, let's go over some of the terrain. Um, the, all of the stone walls will be giving heavy cover from things like shooting, all of the wooden palisades, the, uh, the, the bushes and trees will all be giving light cover. Um, anytime you want to move across any one of these obstacles, be it a bush, uh, across the base of a tree, across one of these fences, it's always going to be negative two to your movement or charge, depending on how you are doing it. Um, and I think that's really about it for the terrain rules. Um, the larger stands of trees, so you know the, the little stand of trees over there and in the corner, um, they block line of sight like a, like a full-scale forest would until you have actually moved inside it. Um, so yeah, I think that's about it. Let's have let's have a look at some deployment. So down on the Bretonian side, we have Sir Theodric himself, Paladin of Bretonia. We've got his cousin Sir Leopold, his boon companion um, Sir Sir Godfrey, and the Griffin Knight, the mysterious Griffin Knight. And then we've got a line of man at arms going across the front, all with light armor, shields, uh, hand weapons, and halberds. And then we have a huntsman on this side and two huntsmen on this side, which are just peasant bowmen. And that is it. That is the deployment for Bretonia. Matty B, can you take us through the deployment for your Bray Herd, sir? Uh, hiding behind the tree, we've got Kazrak here with uh, Gore Snout, his trusty warhound. Very good. Uh, three of the Gore, uh, the Ungor meat shields are at the front here. Oh, yeah. The two Gores behind him. Two Bastigors over here with uh, their own little Ungor. Fantastic. Uh, the two Gores here. Yep. And a Minotaur hiding over here in the side here. Oh, yes. Very nice. Okay. Well, all right, so that is deployment. Um, uh, this is the scenario, and that was the narrative. All that remains is rolling for first turn. 
Um, however, as always, the Bretonians are going to forego the roll for first turn, and they are going to dismount and pray for the favor of the lady. <laughs> so all four of these Bretonian knights are going to dismount off their horses. They unsheathe their swords, shring, point down into the earth as they kneel, kissing the cross piece, and say a prayer to the lady, asking for their favor and for her fury to slay the enemies in her name. So, what that means is Maddie B gets first turn, and my knights gain a want save. So, this is where everything is before the movement phase, and this is where everything ends up. So, we have Bestigors running up on the side here with a little ungo behind that tree. We got the big group of the Bray that have all just boom, moved straight through the gap in the fences. Got a couple of gores over on the corner there, and the big boy, the big old, uh, the big old Minotaur pushing up on the flank. Okay, so that is the end of, uh, of, uh, bleh, what are you guys? Beastman. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that is the end of Beastman movement phase, and thus the end of Beastman turn one. Coming back with Bretonians, turn one. All right, Bretonians turn one. This is where everything is before the movement phase, and this is where they end up. So the, the group of knights and men-at-arms have all just pushed through, the men-at-arms have all run through, and the knights have just pushed up behind them. Uh, but one of my foresters slash peasant bowmen has pushed out up onto here. He's run up to that position as well. I've got one over here that's just walked up behind this stone fence and one that has kept up with the group running forward. So that leaves just one of them eligible to shoot this turn. And he is going to shoot down the way at that Ungor Raider. That little man right there out in the open, the closest enemy. That's the guy. All right. And as with last game, we are ignoring the penalty of shooting it over half range. Um, but he has moved, so that's going to mean a 5 to hit. Um, oh, I'm assuming that I'm in range. 24 inches, I would think so. But Matty B, do you want to oh, measure right, that out for me real measure. quick? Give us a, just a quick little have a look-see. Hey, uh, oh, Ooh. no! Oh. Are you on him? Yes. No, I'm short. I'm short by like just a bit. Maybe no. just a tiny bit. No, all right. Well, should have ran. There we go. Um, all right, so that is the end of Bretonia turn one. Okay, Beastman turn two. This is what it looks like before the movement phase, and this is where everything ends up. So on the left flank, we have a Bestigor vaulting the fence and pushing his way over. Another Bestigor and an Ungor just pushing up through the gap in the fences. The whole middle crew have just ran forward. We have two Ungor on the other side of the little shack that have gotten into base contact. Over on the right flank, there are two Gores behind that building who have also gotten into base contact. And then over on the far right flank, we have the Minotaur pushing around this side, looking to put a bit of pressure on my side of this building so I can't just be on here putting things out. Ooh, that's terrifying. All right, well, look, that is the end of the turn. So, Matty B, let's, let's try and set these things on fire. Let's do it. So, you've got two attempts on this first one. Yeah. Um, you may as well just roll them both together. So, looking for four ups to get a flame token on. No, no. neither of them are able to set it alight. Stop <laughs> 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 the flint. <laughs> Trying to get the flint going, it's not working. And we've got two rolls on this one over here. Same thing. Uh, oh, they get a double. They get a double. That's a big deal. So we'll just whack a couple of tokens down on this. Boom. Um, and yeah, that is that is the end of Maddie B's turn two. Coming back with the start of Bretonian turn two. All right, Bretonia turn two. This is where everything is before the movement phase and this is where everything ends up. So my peasant archer slash huntsman has pushed over to the side here, getting a line of sight on that Bestigur. Um, he's going to be shooting through soft cover and he's moved, so he's going to need a six to hit. Uh, my other huntsman over here has come up and towed the building, ready to try and maybe put out some fires and, you know, maybe still get some angles on shooting. 
Um, my lines of uh, men at arms have just pushed forward, forcing the issue, getting up the field. The knights bringing up the rear behind them. Um, the uh, the Griffin Knight, you know, the one that that first let everybody know the danger of the Beastmen, has immediately charged up, seeing you know this this building beginning to smoke, um, has charged up to attempt to start putting out some fires. The selfless knight that he is. And one of um, uh, one of Sir Godfrey's men at arms has come over to support him, and this little huntsman has stayed still. And that is it. So, at the end of my turn, if I don't remove any of those tokens, or if there are any tokens remaining there at the end of my turn, that will start taking damage off that building. And remember, they only have five wounds. And there's two tokens, so I need to get those going, and I've got a 50% chance to remove one of them with the Griffin Knight. Okay, so that is the movement phase done. Let's move on to the shooting phase, the usually uneventful shooting phase. <laughs> Starting with this Huntsman, he is aiming his bow, you know, across after, you know, jogging his way over to here and aiming across these brambles at the Bestigore. He needs a six. Needs a six. He gets a one. That's the opposite of a six, mate. Ooh. All right, coming over to the only other available huntsman to shoot, and he has a clear line of sight to that there, Angor. So he's going to need to hit him on a four. He's got a 50-50 chance here, people. Come on. Come on, huntsman. He hits him. Excellent. He needs to wound him on a four, but give me a six. Give me a crit. <laughs> give me a crit. Crit. Two! No! <laughs> no That's wound! That is not a crit. That's not even a wound. Alright, alright. And so that is the uh, that's the end of my turn, which means I have a man in base contact with a building that has fire tokens on it. On a four plus, I can attempt to douse some of those flames. Here we go. Four plus. Four plus. Griffin Knight! No! It gets a one! Oh. Ah. Alright, so what that means is this building, this building, <laughs> is, uh, is down to three wounds remaining. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that right there in the middle. Three wounds remaining on that there building. Okay, and that is the end of Bretonian turn two, coming back with Beastman turn three. Okay, top of Beastman turn three, declare charges. You got any charges, B? Yes. All right, tell me about them. Where are we uh, going? I'm going to charge this Ungor into this guy here. Yeah, beautiful. 10 inches definitely gets you there. This Gore into that guy there. Fantastic. Yes, sir. Um, and then I was thinking about charging the doggo into this guy, but I'm not sure if I'm going to make it, so I have to measure Hang it. Hang on, into who? Into your archer. Ooh, that's spicy. <laughs> um, all right, mate. Well, look, I will declare to stand and shoot. Okay, I'm just going to measure now. Or... Um, I guess so. You may as well. Yes. Oh, and you don't come within an inch of this guy, do you? Well, we'll have to measure that extra. Doesn't again. look like it. Doesn't look like I can intercept. I should have gone a little further forward. Oh, no! <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to stand and shoot. I need a five to hit here. Come on, scorn him. No, it's a four. He's missed. All right, the dog goes woofing it straight into my boy. Ooh, that's bad. That's bad. <laughs> Any more charges, B? Yeah, that's right. Gash rack's going in. Yeah. Excellent. Uh, just make sure. Measure out right. the 10 inches. Yeah, no worries. Gash rack goes straight into him. Um, and measure it. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, no problem. No problem. They're all in. The beastmen have surged forward. Ooh, this is going to be gnarly. All right. Woo. Um, sweet. So that, that is the uh, charge phase done. Um, coming back with the end of the movement phase, this is where everything is currently. And this is where it ends up. Okay, so the... Um, the, oh, where did the, where did the Ungor, oh, that's right, there's a, the Ungor over here just pushed straight up into the building. The Beastie Gore that was standing here also, whoop, behind the building here, getting ready to start throwing some torches in there. Um, the remaining Beastie Gore from over behind that bush just pushed up, starting to put some pressure on the fight. The two Ungor on the little shack are still back there trying to get some flint going. <laughs> um, the the two Gores that had originally started the fire both jumped the fence, still staying in base contact, and are now within the courtyard of this building. 
again pressuring my knight and as you can see the big minotaur has just pushed around the side only having a six inch move because he was much blocked by my knight being that close to him so whoop, out he's come all right that's the movement phase we may as well rock and roll straight into the fight phase b where do you want to start let's maybe start with our charges on the first one let's start with the doggo the doggo the doggo on my huntsman he's gonna need a four to hit b no, he's missed. My huntsman pulls his hunting knife and strikes back, needing a four. Missing also. Very good. Um, where do you want to go next, mate? Uh, go to the line, I guess. Okay. Let's have uh, some uh, Gashrak. Gashrak the war gore. Here he goes. He's got three attacks and he's hitting on threes. Oh, sorry. I'm going to use my, uh, my sword and shield. Sword and shield. Um, uh, but okay, yep. Two hits. He's wounded on twos. Ooh, he only gets the one. He only gets the one. He's hitting at strength six. Oh, I had a four up armor save. Four up, five up, six up, nothing. I don't know why I pulled my shield. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, that just goes straight through me. Um, roll the, the injury table. Let's see what happens. He's uh, knocked down. Yeah. You just knock him down. You charge in hard. You bowl him <laughs> over. Stop. So he will not get to attack in response. All right, let's continue down the line. Yep. The gore with the axe and shield against my man at arms. Needing a four. Nope, two. Getting a two. I'm going to strike you. Again, I needed to say this beforehand. Ah, I would have been sword and shield. Yeah, sword. Um, sword and shield. Needing a four to hit. Missing. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right, come in. Um, both of these boys are going swords and shields. Um, uh, go first. Actually, no. You know what? Halberd. Halberd. He's keeping the halberd. All right. All right, needing a four to hit. <laughs> yes, I gambled correctly. <laughs> needing a four to hit you back. He misses! <laughs> oh my god, okay. Um, Halberd. <laughs> Needing a four to hit him. Oh, you've yes. hit him. You need a four to wound him. <laughs> no, you've wounded him. Why did I choose the Halberd? <laughs> <laughs> Which means he's just got a six up light armor save. Six up? Six up? No, I swear I've rolled so many <laughs> twos. twos. Oh yeah. my god. Okay, you are going away. Go yeah, away I've here. been swapping mine out. Yeah, that is terrible dice. <laughs> um, all right, uh, roll on the injury table, sir, because that wound has gone through. No, 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 you've knocked, knocked him down. down again. He's been, bam, knocked to his butt. And that is that for him, sir. Um, okay, that That's is the, the combat, combat phase done. Um, we don't have any break tests to do or anything like that. But... Fires. Um, yeah, yeah, set some fires, man. <laughs> Make it happen, sir. Uh, I got two over here. Yeah, all right, so two four-ups. Let's see if you can set it on fire. You do one. get one. So we got a little fire token on this one here. Two in the middle. Two in the middle, four ups to set them on fire. Getting one. one as well. Oh boy, this place is getting burnt down. Okay, and another two, two. on that building. No! no. no thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Too busy. Um, um, night. So that is still another, that's another two. Because it, it would go off in your turn as well. So yes. this, this building is down to a single wound remaining. This building is getting burnt down, people. I think I'm going to have to abandon it. Um, okay, well, that is the end of... Um, what is this? Beastman turn three. Coming back with Bretonia turn three. All right, Bretonia. Bretonia turn three. Charge phase. Here we go. All right, both uh, Sir Leopold... And Sir Theodric are going to charge into Gashrak. They need to put down the war gore. If they can do that, perhaps the rest will scatter. Um, uh, and we're leaving, we're leaving little Huntsman to his fate with the dog. <laughs> <laughs> so both of these guys are boom, boom, going into the war gore, hoping to, you know, maybe just murk him, put him down. Um, uh, Sir, Sir Godfrey is going to charge into this standing gore. Boom, the counter charge, the knight counter charge is here. And uh, this, I think, needs to wait. I don't think I am ready to deal with that jelly. <laughs> <laughs> so that is the charge phase done. Uh, coming back after the movement phase. So this is where everything is now. And this is where everything has ended up. So, um, my huntsman has vaulted the fence and started running forward, hoping to maybe, you know, next turn start putting out this fire. Um, uh, the, the griffin knight has seen that this, this house, this, uh, this, this poor little structure is lost and has bailed back 
He actually only bailed back seven inches. He's got an eight-inch move. He's going to pull back another inch, and this this little man is going to stand in front of him, guarding his his knightly master as much as he can as well, getting ready to potentially intercept. Um, and this gentleman has just spun on the spot. So that is the movement phase done. Coming back with the shooting phase. Okay, started the shooting phase, and this huntsman is lining up that minotaur. He's in the open. He needs a four to hit him. Yeah. No. <laughs> go, Bose. Um, <laughs> all right, that's shooting phase done. Let's go into the combat phase. So let's start. We won't start with the big one. Let's start with, um, with Sir... Oh, boy, why did I name all these people? <laughs> um, uh, Sir Godfrey. Sir Godfrey. Um, and Sir Godfrey has a single attack hitting on fours against that gore. He hits him. Ooh, he's wounding on a three because he's strength five on the charge. Yeah. Oh, he's oh, crit. crit. He's done a crit. Oh, yes. All right, what kind of crit is it? It's the medium crit. Um, it's like a vital spot. The vital spot has been hit with the lance. Um, so that is two wounds, no armor saves, Matty B. Right. And so we're rolling two dice on two the ones. injury table, needing fives or sixes. No! Yes. He's knocked <laughs> down. Unbelievable. So, yep, knock him on his back, Matty B. <laughs> wow, that's real bad. Yeah. All right, now my horse can potentially trample him <laughs> trample down. Him Hits him automatically, but it's only strength three, so he needs to wound on a five. Yeah. No, no wound from the horse. All right, then it's going to be the halberdier sitting next to him. Also hits automatically. He's using a halberd. So he's wounding on a four. Four plus to get that wound. Yeah, he gets oh. him. He gets a wound. Um, you would have had a six up armor save, but because of the halberd strength four, no armor, Matty B. So that is another injury roll. An injury roll, put him down. Three, he's stunned. So pop him face down, sir. Okay, we'll get another couple of turns to try and put him out. Not too shabby. Um, you know what, let's do, let's do this little one here. So I stand up and strike last. So, go for it, matey B. Hitting on a four. You hit him. You wound on a four. Oh my god, you wound him. I get a six up light armor, armor save. Come on, baby. No. Roll on that injury table again, mate. Two. A two? You knocked him down again. <laughs> you have again. Just knocked him <laughs> on his butt. Okay. Let's continue to over here, matey B. Yep. Um, uh, we are both the same initiative. And neither of us got down, so it's a roll off to see who goes first. Yeah, I got a two. Beautiful. <laughs> you go first. Uh oh. Um, needing a four to hit. No. No. <laughs> Should have changed dice. Strike in the back <laughs> with a four to hit. Miss also. Oh gosh. The clashes. Okay, here we go. Here's the big one. Um, we're going to start with Theodric. Paladin of Bretonia. So Theodric with three attacks. Um, we're both weapon skill five, so I'm hitting you on fours here. Fours to hit. Oh, he's oh. missed every oh, one no. of them. That is very bad. That's Max bad. His horse hits. <laughs> His horse doesn't wound. You okay. Reared, you reared at the end of the charge. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> um, all right. Well, it's going to be up to Leopold then. Leopold needs a four to hit. He hits. He needs a three to wound with his lance, but I need a six. A one. Oh, oh no. This charge has come to naught. This was my chance. Uh, the horse misses. All right. Wow. Um, well, my, my little boy will get to stand up, but he's striking last. You can attack back with, uh, with Gashrak there, sir. I'm going to put two into your lord. Yes, two into my paladin. Paladin, yep. And one into the other horsey. Into Leopold. So do the two into the paladin first. Yep, needing fours to hit. Got a one. Damn it. Um, and needing twos to wound. He Got gets one. him. Oh, strength six will give me a four up armor save with my heavy armor, barded warhorse shield. Four up. No, I have not made a single armor save ever, but I do have a oh, uh, the blessing of the lady. <laughs> and because it is strength five or higher, it's a five or six ward save, lady. No, oh, no, the lady has no. forsaken me. <laughs> no. All right, wound table time. Uh, no, you've just taken a single wound off. Oh, him. So yes, yes. Yeah, so yeah, so he he's got multiple wounds. That's right. He is uh, a paladin. He has taken right. a wound. Uh, very good. And your single attack against uh, Sir Leopold needing a three to hit. You do hit him, needing a two to wound. 
You yes. do wound him. I've got a four up armor save. Yeah. He makes it. Yes, too. that's it's about goddamn time. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right. That was so bad. Two knights on the charge. Oh, <laughs> oh. Missing every attack with Sir Theodric was uh, was real bad. Real bad. All right. Um, now we've got we've got this one here. Yeah. It's going to be a roll off again to see who attacks first. I get a one. Oh right. boy, the dice. The dice are not loving <laughs> not loving Big Papa Stills today. Um, all right, hitting me on a four. No. Amazing. All right, here we go. Come on, hitting you on a four. Yes, yes. wounding you on a four. Oh, it's oh, a crit. <laughs> Um, all right, what kind, of, what kind of crit is it? It is the medium crit. It is a vital spot. Two wounds, no armor save. Five or six. Yes, yeah. double. I pull uh, him out. I not. just snap him. He pulls the knife, and then as it leaps onto him, he just, boom, rams it straight up into the jugular, falls upon him. You know, he's, he's on the ground now with the wolf corpse on top of him. <laughs> Beautiful. Well done, mate. At least somebody did their job. That was, Jesus, I knocked, I got one guy stunned, and this was just a travesty. Holy crap now that they're not on the charge anymore they are like their effectiveness just went like <laughs> <laughs> oh boy that was very bad okay well that is the end of bretonian turn three which means both of these buildings are officially set alight and officially both have four wounds Ooh. remaining i'll get some uh, some little smokes on those bad boys <laughs> as well uh, but that is it, coming back with Beastman turn four. Okay, Beastman turn four. Um, one thing we forgot to do, because this little gentleman managed to get out of combat at the end of that turn, he has a chance to put out that fire before it does damage, needing a four up. Is he the hero that Bretonia needs but doesn't deserve? It is! <laughs> so, uh, we'll remove these two things and a little flame on top, yeah! <laughs> Yes, very good. However, as you can see, this one is completely up in flames and is now irreparable, irredeemably burnt. It is absolutely sacked. The Beastmen have done their job on that one. Um, and this one has taken a wound. Um, so yes, beautiful. Now, Maddie B, charge phase. Declaring his charge. Yes, what do you got, mate? Uh, this little fella here, uh -huh. you just see your knight right in front of him. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> he's going to charge out. Yep, makes sense. He's going to join the fray yeah, right here. Oh, boy, it's getting messy. Right up the front. Um, I'm uh, pretty we'll... sure that's the only things I can charge. Yeah, what about right flank? You don't want to give it a try? Uh, so if you fail a charge, you just move your normal move straight towards your charger. Or your, your charge. No, target. I'm not going to do it. I'm pretty sure I'm out of range. Very good. No charges over there. All right. Well, um, this is where everything is before the movement phase. And this is where it all ends up. So, uh, Matty B's Beast Gore or Best Gore behind that tower is just poked around the corner, staying in base contact with it. Um, the two Ungor that were hiding behind the little shack that managed to set it alight have uh, poked out, you know, getting ready to put some threat on this fight here. And then uh, right flank team, uh, the two Gors have jumped the fence, coming out in front, screening the massive, oh-so-terrifying Minotaur. <laughs> All right, that is the movement phase done. I guess we are going back into the combat phase, B. Uh, where would you like to go? Where, which part of this, this soupy mess do you want to start up with? Let's start on the left. Start on the left, your left, my right. Yep. Fantastic, yep, we're going, uh, so my little man is standing up at this point. Oh no, no, sorry, he doesn't stand up until my turn. Yes. So yes, you just get to attack him. Wound. Um, you, yes, trying to wound him on a four. No, no, you can't wound him. Yes. Uh, um, turn him around. Yes, indeed. He rolls over, and then I will attempt to to stomp him down. Mm -hmm. So let's start with my knight, needing to wound him on a five now, because I'm only a strength three human when I am not on the charge. The wounding him on a five? No. The horse, wounding him on a five? No. Um, the halberdier, wounding him on a four. Halberd? Yes, yeah. wounds him, very good. And then it's going to be yet another injury roll. A three, okay, so he's stunned yet again, roll him back over <laughs> me. I'm starting to that's see really why in the in the actual rules, if you if you attack someone that's downed and you get you know through their armor save and everything, that at this point they would just be out of action. You don't roll on the table again. I might be switching it back to that. Yeah. You know, at this point where we were doing a house rule, 
where yeah I know right? just roll 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 usually at this point if you cause the wound on a downed opponent they just they're out of action we might go back to that but for now this is how we're playing it so there we go what's next babe just down the line, down the line yeah yep. fantastic we're gonna be rolling off to see who strikes first here you get a six. six. Oh, stop, oh, stop that oh stop a five five okay whoa whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> what's going on here? That. three five yeah. Yeah. very good i need a four to hit you Ah, all my good rolls I should have taken. <laughs> Alright, you can you can attack me back. You don't. You dirty dog. Oh you hit him. Need a four to wound him. Oh no, 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 no wound. Alright. What's next, Matty B? This? Uh, all of yeah. this? So, he charged. Yep, he charged here. He's gonna go first. Very good, and his easy I'm assuming he's attacking Theodric. Yes. Sir Theodric. Um need a four to hit. He Got gets it. it. Oh my god, he needs a two to wound. He yeah. gets it. I need a four up armor save. Come on, Theodric. Theodric? Yes, yeah. he saves it. Yes, Bretonian armor, baby. Um, uh, so we just go in initiative order at this point. Theodric would, uh, would I guess, be the next initiative. Yes. So um, he's going to put all of his attacks into into your 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 leader, into Gashrak. Um, all right. And he's just got his sword now. So again, he needs fours to hit. He gets one. Oh, mate. Theodric, I need a six. I need a six. I need a crit here. He needs fours to wound, strength four to toughness four. But really, I need to see that six. No six. Give me that crit. Crit, right, crit. No, but I do wound him. Ugh. So you have a four up armor save. It's negative one between my strength four. So you will have a five up armor save with your chaos armor. No, you take a wound, mate. Oh, um, here you go. You can you can pop that on him, sir. Um, uh, down to one wound. One yeah, wound. One yes. Wound. Sorry. All good. All good. Um, all right. So that was me in the next initiative order. The next would be well, this guy probably would have attacked first, but it doesn't matter. He charged this turn to the Ungor into Sir Leopold, needing a four. Behind Free town. Baby. Sorry. <laughs> That's all right. Um, okay. Um, so then yeah, you sure. have a great weapon, so you're going last. Yeah, right. Um, I will go with... Um, uh, I can't believe I pulled my sword and shield with him. That was most ridiculous. Um, but that's what I did, so too bad. Um, let's go with Sir Leopold. Um, nah, no, nah, we'll go with we'll go with him first. Men-at-arms into Gashrak, needing a four. Oh, he gets it. I needed that on the next roll. <laughs> um, okay, come on. Needing that six now or a five. Six or a five? No, no wounds. Um, so Leopold's going to try it into Gashrak. Needing a four. Missing the horse into Gashrak. Needing a four. Oh, gosh. <laughs> all right, Gashrak, who are you murdering? Uh, all three into your lord. Yes, into my, my leader. So he's no lord. He's a oh, leader. Um, you get two hits. Very good. You need twos to wound with your great axe. Oh, you yep. get two of them. I need two four-up armor saves. Hurrah! I get oh a Oh my one. god! I take it, baby! <laughs> Double six! Yes! Son of a bitch. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Okay, well, awesome. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, Theodric. Bretonian plate mail, baby. Um, that is... That's turn. Um, uh, nobody is ganged up on that needs to take break checks. So that is the end of um, Beastman turn four. This uh, this little building will have taken another wound. We'll be going down to three wounds remaining. Um, and yeah, we will be back with... Some of them beast Oh, excuse up. me. Yes, you do. You're going to try and set that one alight? Yes. Go for it, B. On a four up, you can get it burning. No, no not this round. Um, okay, so... Coming back with Bretonian, turn four. All right, Bretonia, turn four, charges to declare. This bold little huntsman is going to charge right here <laughs> into the Angor to lend his weight to it. And then I think it's, there's no more, ooh dear. There's no more playing around to be done here. It's time for charges. So, yep, yep, here we go. All right. Yeah, the, the the little men at arms going in, and the Griffin Knight, boom, into the other one. This may be the final Bretonian Knight charge of the game. Because <laughs> everyone else is already tied up. Um, oh, what about you? Do I think that's six inches? He could lend his aid and charge in as well. Ooh, gum up the works a bit. Either that, or I go for another... 
unlikely shot. I bought the bows. I'm going to shoot my bows. <laughs> um, all right, so that's the charge phase done. Uh, we can pretty much just go straight into the movement phase from here. This little guy is going to run, boom, right to the corner of this building and tow it as well. Um, so that's movement phase. Let's let's do some shooting. We have got this little man. He's aiming at that there bull. He needs a four to hit. Hell yeah, that's a <laughs> massive one. <laughs> You repeat a crossbows. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. Um, okay, that is it. Let's uh, let's do some combat. Mm -hmm. um, oh, let's just go straight here. We're going to start with this man at arms into that gore. Um, he's using his halberd because hell yeah. Hell yeah. He needs force to hit. Wow. Oh, God. You know what? These three dice. <laughs> these three dice are going That's away. They're going away. I'm getting a new three. These ones look good. They look like where they're at. I mean, it's going to, you know, yeah, look at these. Look, oh, oh, beautiful. <laughs> Ooh. Um, you can attack me back there, B. Mm -hmm. You have dual hand weapons, so you have two attacks. Ooh, uh, yeah, needing no. fours. Nah. No. Okay. no Lovely. No, no. <laughs> just, just, uh, sorry about that. Lovely. Very good. <laughs> All right. The Griffin Knight. The Griffin Knight, here he comes. He needs a four to hit. Yeah, yes, that's what I'm talking about. He needs a, he's only strength th uh, five on the charge, so it's gonna be a three to wound with the lance. Give me a six though. No, <laughs> no. Okay, the horse, the horse needs a four. Okay. <laughs> Uh, you can whip and stab me back, indeed, with your two attacks. No, just the bad. Both, all right. <laughs> I think I'm going to do the same with these dice. Sweet. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I trade those out, baby. <laughs> we're we're going to just, whoo, 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 we're having a time of it. All right, we're going to go over here. We'll go just straight down the line. This guy stands up, so your ungor gets to strike him first, B. Needing a four to hit. You That's get better. him. A four to wound. You Much get better. him. Are you just going to knock him straight down again? Come on, B, do it. Give me another one or a two. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, no, wait, wait. I've got a six-up save. I've got a six-up save. Nah, no okay. go. <laughs> I got a six up kill you! Ah, you <laughs> stunned him. You stunned him. He's face down. Oh boy, he's uh he's not gonna be getting up for a couple of turns. Um, okay. Let's go to this one. Um uh, the knight and the horse are exactly the same, so Nah, you know what? I wanna know who kills him. The knight, <laughs> the knight needing a five to wound him. Ha! Huh. Oh, he's critted him, baby! Yes! What kind of crit? It's the the mid-range, he's hit a vital spot. No, and I've just <laughs> re-stunned him. Yeah, okay, this needs to stop. Yeah. This, is, this is a bad I'm, mechanic. How about we just call it that you killed him? You've, you've stunned him about five times now. His skull is like mush. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, are you happy with I'm that? I'm happy with Should that. Should we, like, mid-game <laughs> switch to the other way? Uh, um, no. Ah, look, luckily, yeah. Just kill him. Take him away. Kill him. The, the many, yeah. the many stun is enough. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. That guy's not getting up in any reality. Okay, sweet, <laughs> sweet. All right, I've, I've freed up my things. Um, that's lovely. Let's come to this this farce of a fight that has been going nowhere. <laughs> we roll off to see who goes first. We roll off. Oh yes. Yeah, I got a two. I got a one. Yes, <laughs> yes. Four to hit you. I get a six. Oh my god, it's a five to wound you. Give me another six again. Give it to me. No, it's a one. <laughs> right, I'm uh, you. You may, you may attack me, sir. Uh, uh, sorry, but it's behind and it's a five. It's a five, is it, B? I guess I'll trust. Yes, yeah, very good, very good. Thank you, sir. <laughs> uh, it's going to be a four to wound. This one. Oh That's God. a six. That is a six. It's a Come crit. on, B. Rolls are I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry. All right, we'll roll. Um, you know, I'm like down here. Yeah, would down be here. lovely. Okay. All, right. all right, cool. Ah, yeah, you've, you've knocked it. Oh no, that's the, that was the kind of that was the kind of crit. Ah, um, so it's going to be two wounds, um, yeah. but I still get an armor save. So it's armor save on a four up because hand weapon, shield, light armor. Ah, no, I didn't save it. Two rolls on the table, B. Yeah, yeah, you murk him. Boom, oh, bloch. You've done it. Very nice. That is the first casualty for the Bretonians. Bomb. Um, sweet. Nicely done. All right. Let's come to this fight. Um, uh, so technically it would be the charger first, so we'll go with the charger into the Angor. I have a spear. Oh, yes, the spearman goes first. Who's he attacking? Uh, the Angor, the, the guy that's charging him. All right, very good. Needing a fall. Gets it. Needing a fall. Gets it. Um, six up armor save, light armor. Yes! Oh! Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> All right, he's attacking you back. Needing a four. Yeah, okay, well, <laughs> he's good at dodging, it. he's good at dodging. <laughs> um, Alright, next in initiative is Sir Theodric. 
and he is going to f try to finish off Nashrak. He's got three attacks. He's hitting on fours. I need to see more than one or none this time. <laughs> Come on, mate. I Come need on. To see only one or none. Come on. <laughs> Sir Theodric the Bold, Paladin of Bretonia, gets two. Hell yeah, you yeah, gave it to me, mate. Yeah. You gave it to me. I love that. Um, he needs a four to wound, but really, I want a six. You want really want a six. Statistics say I get one of these, It'll be a six but I need a six. I need a six. <gasps> I get one. I get one, B. You'll have a five up armor save with your chaos armor, sir. No, that is the final wound, which ah. means I roll on the table. I roll on the table. Here we go. Five or six. What? Five or six and Nashrak has fallen. Five or six. It's a one, but damn it, B. Damn it. <laughs> God damn it, Matty B. Yes, he is just knocked over, so pop him down on his back. He will not be fighting this round. And still just uh, one wound remaining, yes. Um, well, my horse can now <laughs> attempt to, to mash him down. Um, uh, come on, horse. Um, ooh, actually, no, it, because because the horse is um, at the same initiative as your bestie girl, we're going to have to roll a dice for each one of these to see who goes next. All right, okay. so uh, for my horse... Ooh. For my men at arms, oh boy, and for Leopold, three. All right, you roll one. All right, your guy goes first. Lame. <laughs> I had three attempts to roll better than you, and I got one, one, and a three. So the best to go? Yes, the best to go. All right. Who's he attacking? Uh, good question. Godric, good fellow. Leopold? I mean, no, no, it's uh, <laughs> Theodric. This is the, you name everybody. This is what happens. <laughs> so Theodric the Bold. All right, you need a four to hit him. I need to see a miss here, B. No, you need a two to wound him. Give me a one. Six. Give me a one. Six. Ah, oh. All right, I've got a four up armor save. That's Come on. Come on. Yes, I Damn save it. it. <laughs> oh, the armor's coming through. All right, cool. So now, oh, now, now what? All right, well, look, I'm going to start with the, the man at arms, the man at arms. All right, so look. What are we doing? Are we are we doing the now I just need to hit and wound and because he's down, he's out? Or are we continuing to roll injury tables over and over again? Uh, just do the hit and wound. Yeah, we just, yeah. we're just switching. Switch it. All right, look, sorry, ladies and gentlemen, it was getting a little too weird the other way, <laughs> just like knocking down and down. Yeah. It was it, yeah. flipping like a fish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fish flipping. <laughs> All right, so we're, we're going to the the official ruling, which is once they're down, um, or at least it's the official ruling for, for Mordheim, which this game is very closely based around. So that's, that's what we're doing. Once they're down, if you wound and no armor save is made, they are taken out of action. So he needs to wound on a five because he's just using his sword and shield. Nah, very good. <laughs> very good. Um, well, I think everyone else is just going to try and do it. Leopold. Leopold needs to wound on a five. No. Leopold's horse needs to wound on a five. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's a big deal. All right, he's standing back up. That's not good. Um, I think... I think that's it. I think everybody has fought. Yeah. Yeah, oh my god, what, is, what, is what, happened, what happened there? <laughs> what the I was like, no, we haven't fought. Oh no, we did. We did. Oh. At this point, the Minotaur's just gonna walk around you guys. Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> he's gonna get bored. <laughs> he's not gonna get to charge, unfortunately, because no. he's. I mean, <laughs> some one of these guys should have been dead. Yeah, so exactly. Yeah, well, there I was we expecting that. Yeah, look, you were, you were right to expect that. <laughs> Um, all right, so that is it. That's the end of Bretonian. Um, that's the end of Bretonian turn four. Um, coming in to Beastman turn five, second last turn of the game for them. Um, that is going to tick down another wound, down to two wounds remaining there, B. Mm -hmm. If you could tick that down for me, sir. All right, and that is it. Coming back with Beastman turn five. All right, Beastman turn five charges to declare. Yep. Where are we going, Matty V? A couple of gores coming up to join in. A couple of ungores, mate. Ungores, sorry. <laughs> a couple of the, the no, lesser they're gores. They're not gores quite yet. No, not at all. Uh, and then we got our bestie gore over here. Fantastic. Like, I can't get a flint going, so I'm going to charge this guy. Excellent, yes. Boom, he's charged in to my little huntsman there. This is getting messy as... <laughs> uh, actually, this guy's no longer in combat as well, so Indeed. I'm going to charge him into Gojibit. Into uh, Theodric. Uh, sorry. Uh, so Theodric. <laughs> um, uh, all right. Very hard and not good with names. Ah, look, it's understandable. <laughs> it's not really what they're about, is it? Poor words. Yes, yes. <laughs> um, okay. Well, look, I don't think we have a movement phase now, do we? No. No, and there is no shooting phase. So, Not really, no. let's just go straight into combat, Matty B. Where do you want to start? 
Let's start over here. Over here. Okay. So well, we are both three. equal initiative. Pick yeah. a fight, and then let's roll off. Go with the little fellow on the left there. The man at arms and the gore. Very good. Rolling off. Six. No. <laughs> oh no. All right. So two attacks hidden on fours. Because you are a dual hand weapon. You're hitting me with a little pipe. No. 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 no, no Jesus. I'm hitting you back on a four. I get it. I'm wounding you on a four. I get it. <laughs> you don't have an armor save, B. So I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna knock you down. Okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> good. Yeah. Good. 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 Um, all right. The next one. Same thing. We're rolling off. Yeah. And it is. It is the Griffin Knight versus and Mickey the Mickey. Gore. Six. Damn it. All right. You, I hate you, that. Yeah. I want that six on other rolls. Yeah, you can't have it. Babe. <laughs> Two attacks hitting me on fours, whipping and stabbing. I got five. A single hit, wounding on a four, with the whip. No. no! All right, I've drawn my sword and I'm slashing down at you, needing a four to hit. I hit you. I need a five to wound. I don't wound you. <laughs> my horse rears in, you know, the, the, the smell of stench and fur, filling its nostrils, driving it mad, getting a hit. Oh. How mad is it? Ah, not mad enough. <laughs> needing a five to wound. All right, well, that is, again, this combat done. We have a knockdown. That's what oh. we've got over here. Yeah, All right, right. something. What's up? Minotaur's just sitting in. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, at this fight. Yep. All right, all you need to do is wound Matty B, oh, and I need to oh, steady sorry. now, steady. Needing a four. You've critted. critted. So that's going to be two Matty B. Oh, no, sorry, roll, uh, roll on the table, the critical injury table. <laughs> it's the worst kind. Yeah. So I still just, if I get a six up, I'm fine. If I don't get this six, he is boom, he's out. Give me a six. Six. <gasps> Four. No. <laughs> Boom. You murk him and you just you stab down with your little spear through his back because he was stunned face down on the ground. Very good. The bodies are starting to stack up. Um, all right. Well, let's go with the charging Ungor here. The yeah. first one charging uh, Sir Godfrey. The boon companion no. misses Godfrey, pulls his sword and strikes back. Missing. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, wait, his weapon's still four against the Lungor's weapon still three. That would work. Yes, yes, that's right. That is a hit. He needs a four to wound now, though. Come on, with the sword now. All right, all right. The horse needs a four to hit. Yes, ah. the horse needs a four to wound. Now, nope. one, one's on the wound. <laughs> um, all right, well, let's go to the next one, Matty B. Yeah. That will be the Ungor versus the Man at Arms. No. Missing. The Man at Arms needs a four to hit. He hits him. He needs a three to wound because he's got a halberd, baby. Ah, uh, oh, he crits. He crits. What kind of crit? Oh, it's the big one. It's the big one, Matty B. Um, you don't get an armor save with the shield because the halberd goes straight through it. So it is... Two wounds, no armor saves, and plus two to the table. Yes, that four yeah. will murk him. I put him down. Excellent. Yes, the bodies are stacking. <laughs> he comes charging in, jabbing with the spear, missing completely, and then Halberd just whoosh, sights down through the shield, through the shoulder, halfway through the sternum. Love it. Love it. <laughs> now, okay, we've got chargers over here. We've got this charger and this charger. Where yeah. do you want to go? Uh, I'll start with best to go over here. The oh, no, gore. That's, that's just a gore, mate. Yep, sorry. Needing a four to hit. Theodric. Missing. All right. And then we've got the best to go over here. Needing a four to hit. Ah. Missing. Um, oh, actually. No, I'm sorry. This That will be a hit. Your weapon skill four to this little gent's weapon skill three. Oh. So you get him. You need a two to wound him. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's going straight through his armor save, Matty B. So it's just a single roll on the table. Sure. You've <laughs> knocked him. You've knocked him down. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. All right. Next, in terms of initiative, is Sir Theodric. Sir Theodric, and he is going to put all of his attacks into oh, all of them. Yeah, no, I need to do it. I just need to get him going while he's down. This is my best chance to, to get Nashrak off the field. Nashrak, Gashrak. Gashrak. Get Gashrak off the field. Three twos. Needing fours to hit. Oh, no. Fours to wound. A single one of these will... I know. One. You'll still have an armor save. Uh, but here we go. Come on. Oh, I miss them all. Three, two, one. Oh, my God. How dare you, I'm Maddie sorry. Baby. I had Curse to use me the like gods. that. You <laughs> Stop using the gods. I had to use the gods. Using the gods. <laughs> Oh, that was so sad. Okay. Um, <laughs> all right, well, then we're rolling initiative for these two and my horse. All right, so my horse, ooh, um, my man at arms, ooh, <laughs> and Leopold. All right, Matty B, um, you're, you will have two guys. 
Uh, which ones? So this one and this one get so into best attack. Best to go first. Best to go. Well, okay, we'll be re-rolling for that. And five. Five, Jesus. All right. So, <laughs> so um, Leopold and the Ungor are going to be rolling off. Yes. Um, and the the horse and the man-at-arms are rolling off. All right. So horse, getting a five. Man-at-arms, getting a three. And your best to go? Six. Getting a six, Jesus. All right. Um, and then the Ungor and Leopold. Two. Two. Um, oh, yes, and Leopold's horse is also a two. We'll reroll that. One. Three. All right. Interesting. Interesting. So it's the best you go first, sir. Okay. Who's he attacking? Um, yep. He's attacking Theodric? Yep. All right. Single attack. Needing fours to hit, Matty B. All right. Just a sec. I have to check which dice is right. <laughs> hey, take your time, mate. <laughs> it's not like we have people watching. <laughs> Shush. You can edit. <laughs> In fours to hit. Two, yeah, no. X, Wrong guys. Excellent. All right, so then it's going to be my horse. My horse is going to attack next, um, and he's going to attack into that downed man. He needs a five, a five to stomp him. No. All right, and then it's going to be the man at arms into him again, needing, uh, needing a four. Needing a four, a single four up. A single four up. No, sorry, he's not using a halberd. He's still just using a sword. A single five up. <laughs> five up. No, god damn it. Um, so then it's going to be Leopold, and then the Ungor, and then Leopold's horse. What about spears? Does that affect this at this, all? No, this isn't the first round yeah, of combat. That's right. No, no. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it's going to be Leopold needing a five. Put down Nashrak. Give me a five. Five! Yes! <gasps> I heard him! You'll have a four up armor save against it, Matty B, or he is dead! Yes! Damn it. We've done it! Damn it. We stop! Yes, Leopold! Yeah. The cousin of Theodric finally just boom puts the sword down throw him oh god that's just so sweet <laughs> so sweet oh uh, sorry about it is that yeah no, no, good man good man <laughs> um, all right so now your uncle gets to attack sir um you're going to attack leopold or the down knocked man. yes the knocked down huntsman so um uh, so you just need a four to wound here you yes. wounded him. He's got a six-up light armor save. Can he wriggle his way away from the stabbing spear of filth? No, no, he can't. He is just skewered on the oh, ground. Yeah, because yeah, he's down, Matty B. That's yeah. it. That's how we're playing it. Yeah. So, boom, he's out. He is out of here. Um, and then it would be my horse, Leopold's horse. Um, just into that little ungo. Needing a four to hit. Hitting. Needing a four to wound. Oh, baby, he gets him. You've got a six up armor save against these hooves. No, the hooves. It's going to be an injury roll. Come on. No, he's knocked down. <laughs> yep, face up, and that is it. Ooh, that was a spicy combat. It was a whole lot of rolling to see who goes first. That got to be messy. <laughs> um, yeah, that is it. That ticks down to a single wound remaining. Oh, and I've got one unarmed. I've got a guy there who could potentially do it. He's going to give it a try. You better believe he's going to give it a try. <laughs> um, okay, that is it. Woo. Woo. That is it. How many guys have you lost? Uh, one, Four. Two, four yeah. Not enough. Not enough to start a route test yet. And nor I. I've got three out. So that is the end of uh, Beastman turn five, their second last turn of the game. Coming back with Bretonian turn five. All right. Bretonian turn five, charges to declare. I think we've only got the one. We've got this, this valiant little man at arms is charging in onto the best Igor to, you know, to help out Theodric in his time of need, who's bleeding from, you know, multiple chinks in his armor, but he still lives. His armor is battered and bruised. His shield is hanging tatters on his arm because he's just been absorbing hit after hit on the shield and van braces. Um, so that is the charge done. Um, I could charge in with my little huntsman here, but I'm not going to. He wants to. He wants to use his bow. That's what it's all about. I could charge this guy into this combat, but I'm not going to. I've got one shot, a 50/50 chance to put this out before it's burnt to hell. And you better believe that he is gonna try. <laughs> um, so that is it. That's charge phase done. And you know what? The movement phase is just going to be this gent. Boom. Getting straight up in on that building. He's going to be chucking water on it so hard. <laughs> so hard. <laughs> um, and that's movement phase done. Let's do the shooting phase. We've got this huntsman shooting at the, uh, the Minotaur. He needs a four to hit. 
Ah, God damn you. Um, we got this huntsman shooting into the best eagle. He needs a four to hit. Yeah. He needs a five to wound. No. God damn it. No. <laughs> it's worth a try. I bought the bows, damn it. Um, okay. It's combat time. It's combat. It is combat time. All right, let's just keep going down the line. We've got this guy. He just needs a four to kill. A four plus. A single four plus with his halberd will just kill that gore. Rawr! Yes, he <laughs> crits it, baby. What kind of crit is the little kind? It doesn't matter. matter. He's out. <laughs> we put him down. Hell yeah. That's hey, where he's at. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> he got his glory. Um, all right, and then it's going to be Godfrey. Um, no, sorry, that's not Godfrey. That's um, that's the the, the Griffin Knight. Mm -hmm. The Griffin Knight, the mysterious Griffin Knight, rolling to see who goes first between himself and that gore. Mm, the gore's going first. Two attacks. Swinging in at the night. Come Getting on. a single hit. I want both. You can't have both. I want both. And then you go, <laughs> Alright, Matty B. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> you got the crit. <laughs> the only thing that can save me now is a one or a two, because it's the only one that's gonna let me have armor saves here, B. Oh, no. No. no! Two wounds, no armor saves, B, so just rolling out on the chart. You have oh, stunned him. Stunned. You have stunned him. So I'm putting, um, you know, because laying down horses is ridiculous, and Bretonians will never leave the saddle until dead. He is just laying completely stunned in the saddle, slumped across his horse's neck, and we'll be removing these as he recovers. So no attack back for him or the horse. Um, oof, that was nasty. Well done, Bill. Whip. He just whips him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go over to this one. It's again initiative um, between the knight and the ungors. Both initiative three. Yeah, a five and six for one. I mean, no, you only got one of them there, bit. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I do that again. Yeah, roll, roll, single dice. Five. five. Roll. <laughs> One. Two. Lame. All right, the gore's going first, bit. He's gonna stab you. Yeah, and need a four with this one. No, I don't like it. All right, I'm weapon skill 40, weapon skill 3. I need a 3 to hit you. Yes, oh. I need a 4 to wound you. No. <laughs> uh, my horse needs a 4 to hit you. No. <laughs> All right, good, good. God damn it, Godfrey. Um, okay, and then we come to this. Um, there was only one charger, so mm -hmm. he will be going first, and he is using his halberd. You better believe. Oh, he made it. He's using his halberd. Oh, with his halberd. Oh, don't say that. <laughs> he needs a 4 to hit. Damn you, babe. I'm sorry. Damn. <laughs> um, all right, well then it's going to be Godfrey with the next um, greatest initiative. Um, ah, he's he's got a great weapon. He shouldn't have been rolling initiative at all. I don't know why I've been doing that. It was... Come on, babe. Know your army, mate. Know your army. <laughs> You're rolling everything. No, I mean, whatever, mate. Whatever. <laughs> All right, well, Godfrey, Godfrey is going to try and murk that filthy bestie gore. He needs threes to hit him because he is a paladin of Bretonia. He gets two hits. He needs fours to wound him. Because he's a paladin of Bretonia. Paladin of Bretonia. Oh, my God. Double crit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, baby. Oh, baby. All right, here we go. Here we go, rolling for what kind of crits these are. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, they're both two wounds, <laughs> Jesus, with armor saves. So you got heavy armor. You'll have two six-up armor saves against these, B. Right. No, neither of them going through, so it's going to be four rolls on the injury table. Wonder. Yes, you are dead. <laughs> yes, sir. I have moved, moved one, indeed. Was it? This guy? It's the best goal. Yes, sir. The best one. The take best. the best one, please. Of the goal. I'll take the best. Well, he's a goal. But... Oh. 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 <laughs> All right. All right. Um, so next it would be the initiative between um, these. Well, I guess it would be him. It'd be him because he's fighting a knockdown opponent. Let's do him. Yep. Um, he needs a four to kill that. Swinging down with his sword. Leopold gets a crit. <laughs> Very good. What kind? The, the worst kind. You'll have a six up armor save oh, against yeah. it, B. No, remove him. Get him out of here. Mm -hmm. Oh, baby. Yeah, there's going to be some route tests no, on the turn, no, my man. It's happening. Maybe a little. It's happening. Um, I got a leadership of seven. Does it? Crap. <laughs> That's not great. Um, okay, so now it's going to be a roll-off between uh, Sir Theodric's horse yeah. and that gore. Yeah. Six. Three. Blame. <laughs> the gore is quick. I wanted the six for the wound. The gore is quick. <laughs> You'll need a four to hit me, B. 
Oh, you hit me. Oh, you're definitely not getting a three six. <laughs> Come on, mate. All right, you need a four to wound. I'd be a five to wound, actually. Ah, Oi. You get it. Oi. I do have a two up armor save against this because you're only one. strength three. Good one. Because I am a. Oh, his armor! Good his one. armor is too destroyed. Be wise! Good one. Good one. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I have the lady. But you're only strength three, so that means I only have a six up ward save against oh my this. Gosh. Is Theodric? Does he have the favor of the lady this day? Go on. The lady! Yes! Go on! Yes! You betrayed me, go on. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god! <laughs> That didn't just happen. Amazing. That didn't just happen. Amazing. He's got it. He, that prayer, man. That prayer, that getting off his horse. Sticking that sword in the ground and little lady god murdered. She did it! It's kept him alive. Unbelievable the lady was there. She she filled him with righteous <laughs> righteous strength and turned the axe blade away. Um alright, his horse. His horse needing a four to hit. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Needing a five to wound. Ah, oh, right. yeah, that could have been sweet. <laughs> um, <laughs> um I think that's it. That's it. That is that is the that wow, is combat yes. phase down. Woof, what a big one. Um Oh boy. So, and this is where everybody runs away. Well, quite potentially, <laughs> quite potentially. But look, we'll we'll be doing that. No, no, wait, we've got one more thing that needs to happen here. Oh yes, we've got a chance, we've got a big chance. Because yeah. this is the thing, Matty B. Yeah. Right now, like I've got how many people do I have? I put down over there. Three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. I've got seven that I have put down over there. Oh, but I would also claim five points for this mm. because it is undestroyed. I forgot that about that. Mm. So, okay, I know I'm in a position to win here if you start running potentially. Um, because at the moment you have five, six, seven, eight, nine. Mm. Oh, that's still pretty good. One you turn away from being ten. Yeah, exactly. If I don't get this four up here, that's going to be ten, thirteen. I might so, have to curse your dice again. Don't do it, B. You shut up. <laughs> I need silence for this roll. <laughs> You don't interfere here, baby. Okay, sure. Keep your witch mouth away from my dice. Yes, you want? <laughs> yes, no. Take you out. It is what I want. It is what I want. I don't even need that. It's need a four or a five. Oh, I take a six as well. I'll take whatever I want. Four. Come on. Ooh. Come on. Here we go. Put out the fire. Yes! <laughs> yes! Oh, baby, we put it out. We put it out. Oh, God, that felt good. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah! Oh my god, he did his job. He really ran forward, bucketed all over, he vomited all over. <laughs> <laughs> <Just went. laughs> but that's it, they put it out. Oh my god, that was such a big moment. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Wow, on a 50 50 roll. Amazing. God, I love this game. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that is it. That is the end of Bretonian turn five. Coming back with the final turn for Beastman, turn six. Alright. Final term of the game for the Beastmen, turn six, and we are doing some route tests. Um, where do you want to start, Matty B? I'm going to with start with my Bestigor over here. Bestigor, leadership seven. Leadership seven, needing seven or under. He's sticking six. around, love that. The Gore, also Ooh. leadership seven. Six, that's a five, sorry. Very good, that's, he's got the seven, love that. All seven, right. Sorry. Yep, the uh, the first uh, Ungor in Six. in combat with uh, with Sir Godfrey. He's out of here. Yeah. He's peacing out. Yep, fair enough. The other Ungor also needing six or under. He's yes, sticking, mate. Mate, right. mate the, the Gore in combat with the Griffin Knight on a leadership seven. I don't care if he runs away. That's pretty fair. He sticks. Seven, seven. This is the important one. Yeah. Leadership eight on the, the Minotaur. To be honest, I don't want to fight him, but it's going to be very sad if he yes. just ran around the corner Please. and then runs away here. Please. Come on. Come on then, let's see it. He's yeah, sticking, yeah, yeah, mate. Yeah. That was some. That was some solid. Yeah. That was some solid leadership test there, buddy. B. That was good. <laughs> That's good. That was good, mate. He's still in this game for yeah. now. All right. Well, Only one runner, mate. Charges. Charges to declare. Yep. Um, Lame. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, what about that ungo? Oh yeah, charge. Yep, lamb. Oh, actually. Yeah, charge. Yep, charge in the night. Interesting. Very good. And then charge. Yeah, uh oh. <laughs> oh, ouch, this is going poorly over here. All right, cool, that is charge phase done. There's no movement phase to do. 
So let's just roll straight into the combat phase, mm-hmm. maybe. Let's go with some charges. Who do you want to start with? Minotaur. Oh, mate, you just want to go straight for the goods? Yeah, I just want to go straight in and lock that guy into salami. Yeah, look, you most likely will. <laughs> you most likely will. Um, so your weapon skill four to his measly weapon skill three. So you're going to be hitting him on threes, maybe, with three attacks. Ooh. Oh, my God. Okay, getting one. <laughs> one should be all you need. You're, win- you're killing him on a two, or oh, like wounding him on a two. Yes, yeah. good. You got it. You got yeah, it. Yeah. He doesn't get an armor save, so it's just going to be a straight injury roll there, B. Oh, oh, you've just knocked him down. <laughs> that is really bad. Unbelievable. Good. Really a bit small, but I'm glad I got rid of it. Yep, oh, look the, terrible yeah, running. exactly. The bull charge <laughs> just come in. Though you, you missed every shot with the with the axe, but the the head came down <laughs> and boom, just hit him, hit him with your you know your native bull strength. Um, uh, shall we just should we go here? Yeah, why yeah. not? Um, this combat. So, Matty B, you need a, a yes two attacks, needing a four to wound. Oh, Neither dear. of them I don't are know not dies. lucky, Matty B. Good Shall we continue? Better. Continue ship? Yeah. Indeed. <laughs> Continuing down the line um, with this here Ungor who charged in a single attack. Oh, so you're Matty B. Yeah, I'm giving him a double one because he just had a mutation no. in the last round. No, Matty B. Sorry. Oh, you do hit him. <laughs> oh. You need a four to wound him. You yeah. do wound him. He's got a two up armor save. He saves it. Yeah. No worries, mate. No <laughs> worries. He's a knight of Bretonia. He needs a three to hit you back. He hits you. He needs a four to wound you back. No, no. he does nothing. The horse. No. no. Okay. <laughs> good, good. Um, uh, do you want to keep going down the line or do you want to move on to this? Uh, keep going down the line, yeah. Lovely. All right, so Theodric is definitely faster than that gore. Um, he's going to attack first with three attacks. Hitting on threes. Oh, yeah, very nice. He gets two of them. <laughs> Solid. He's wounding on fours. He gets one of them. That f- strength four will go straight through your shield, B, oh. so it's going to be an injury roll. Oh, we ah, just make him. Ah. We cut him straight down. Theodric. <laughs> Paladin of Bretonia. <laughs> yeah, baby. Yeah. All right. And then the bestigore charging into his cousin, Sir Leopold. Um, all right, Matty B, make it happen, sir. You miss. Yeah. Uh-oh. Um, so Leopold is going to attack back on a four. On a five. No. Nah. <laughs> the horse on a four. No. Nah. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. And that is it. And that is the end of Be- Beastman turn six. That is their final turn of the game. Coming back with the very actual final turn of the game. Dame. Final turn yeah. of the game. <laughs> Britonia turn six. All right. Bretonian turn six, final turn of the game. Uh, let's finish this off, people. So, charges to declare. Um, I had a look at old Sir Theodric trying to maybe long bomb a charge into this. Uh, there's no way he's going to make it. He's got a 16 inch charge, and the only way he would be able to get in is going straight through that bush, which knocks two inches off it. I don't think that's 14 inches. He can turn and go straight across this to get onto the corner of that Ungor. So that's what he's doing. He's declaring a charge. Boom. Onto the Ungor. Getting on the corner of him. Now, just for posterity, would I have made it? Oh, bloody hell, maybe. (laughs) Oh, no, no. I put it on 15. No, I would have been like an inch. Oh, Oh, jeez. Okay. (laughs) about to crap my pants. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, so no, I would have been like an inch or so shy. If, if I wasn't going through this bush, I would have been in that, but mm. the, the line was not there for me. All right, so that's Theodric making the charge. This this man at arms is going to charge this bestie girl. And you know what? We're piling in on him. <laughs> Boom. This little dude's getting in there too. Um, you know what? This guy's going to try and save his friend. <laughs> Because he's a madman, he's pulling his knife and he's running in there because peasants, <laughs> peasants are all about it. I know. You know, this, this man as well. Ah, they're just all, everyone's piling in. Everyone that can is piling in for the final turn. Um, <laughs> I know your sister. <laughs> <laughs> classic, classic me. Yeah. Um, all right, and that is it. Um, there is nothing else to do except fight. Um, and you know what? Let's, let's go right here. So, here he comes, the bravest huntsman you've ever seen. The bravest huntsman you've ever seen. Needing a four to hit. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> this gentleman does stand up at the start of my turn, but we'll be striking last. Um, so, Matty B, you get to attack next. You want to just murder two peasants? Yep. How do you want to do it? 
Uh, two into him and one into him. Very good. Roll them separate. So the first two. Yep, into the man at arms, getting two hits, needing twos to, to shear through him. Very yes. good. There's no armor save. That'll be two injury rolls, sir. Oh, and yes, you do with the massive axe. <laughs> just he gets up just in time to be split in twain by the great axe of the Minotaur. Boom! Swinging down with a bestial roar. Love it. Awesome. All right, and the single attack on the bravest of huntsmen. Hey, hey. Hits him. Twos. Oh, crits him. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, what kind of crit is it? It's the worst kind. Um, so I do have light armor that you shear straight through. It's going to be two rolls on the injury table. And you knock him down. Knock him down. <laughs> You smack him down, hitting him with the haft of your axe. I so, probably hit him with the haft of the other guy's corpse. Yeah, oh, Jesus. <laughs> Cuts him in half, picks up the corpse, swings, and dudes knocks down his mate. He comes screaming, running in, like, Gunter! <laughs> and boots. All right, and let's go on to this combat. I remove one of these pips, so I have now become, you know, dazed rather than stunned to attacks. When you're on fours, getting one of them, I do have a two up armor save. (gasps) You kill him! You just straight up. No, wait. Oh, wait. Wait. Lady. 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 Six up. I have a six up lady save. Is the Griffin Knight (laughs) smiled on the lady? Lady! Oh my god, not again! (laughs) You son of a bitch. Only oh man, the lady. The lady <laughs> has come through so strong for these beautiful knights. He doesn't get to attack back because he is dazed, but the lady just, you know, turned the whip away from him. <laughs> Amazing. So that's oh. that done. Wow. Um, let's come over here to some charges. And you know what? So Theodric wants the he wants the glory. Is that about my um, spear first? Oh, excuse me. Because you're doing a charge. Yes, first you round. definitely can. First round of combat. Who's he attacking? Theodric. No. Yeah, well, yeah, 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 you want to, you, yeah. you reckon I'm going to fail another two up armor save, maybe? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Single yeah, hit, hitting fours to hit. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. Oh boy. <laughs> um, I'm a little scared now, babe. Um, needing fours, fives to wound. No, no. no. All right. Well, hit the bush. Theodric, I know the bush. The, the bush, bush screwed it all up. <laughs> needing threes for Theodric. Oh boy. Okay. No. Needing twos for Theodric. Oh, the crit. No, yes. No. Yeah. 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 The crit. Give what kind of the best no. one. Oh, it's the best one. Oh, he's so oh, dead. Oh, oh my god, god. he's so dead. Oh, god. He's, oh. Max. he's he just is. like hanging. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> just peaked up. Holy crap. <laughs> Theodric, the bold. Just lanced right through the afternoon. Paladin of Bretonia. <laughs> oh my god. He was so mad that this little thing turned into tried to hit him with yeah. a spear. He just swayed in the saddle and just picked him up, <laughs> lifted him and whoo, straight off it. That was amazing. Yeah. Well done, Theodric. Yeah. Um, all right, couple of charges here. Coming at your beast, man. Let's go the huntsman. He misses. Let's go the uh, halberd-wielding men at armsman. He hits. He crits! Oh, you oh he hits, he crits! Baby, what kind? Oh, it's just the small one. So, you will get... Alright, Bannery ran out at the end of that last clip. I'm not sure how much we got, but he failed his armor saves. Um, <laughs> it is going to just be two rolls on that injury table. Oh, he's stunned. He's uh, face down. That leaves it to Leopold. Uh, Sir Leopold, cousin to Sir Theodric. And he's got a single attack. Just needing a five to wound. Yeah! No! His horse? No, damn it! <laughs> the Beastie Gore will live. Um, and that is it! That, <laughs> that is the end of the game. Um, it's looking like a Bretonian victory here. Very much so. Very much so. Matty B's gotten five victory points for completely destroying this house. Another one for damaging this house. So nearly got that B. That was so close. Um, uh, And then another four here. So you got a 10 total. Um, I'm getting five for this one. Um, I'm getting five for that one. I'm getting 10 for those two plus all of my kills, which is mucho. Um, So, Bretonian victory in the end, and that is it. That is the end of the game. They have successfully saved the, the, the village from being completely destroyed. Not entirely, you know. There's mm. some there's some peasants inside that building that are never coming out. And there's then, a chaos giant in this then, forest that's gonna. Nah, I mean, come on. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we stopped. We won. <laughs> 
<laughs> but that is it. That is the exciting conclusion to uh, the village raid scenario. And there it is. Another game done. It is a Bretonian <sighs> victory in the end. <laughs> <laughs> Every Unbelievable, <laughs> that is. But what a great game. Oh my god. Yeah. Good game, Maxie. Game. Good game, yeah. dude. That was epic. Holy oh crap. That's so many amazing <laughs> moments. Um, but as it told, we just we just had a look at it and it all hinged on that one man at arms on that 50-50 roll to put out that burning building. If he had not done that, the points would have come down to 14 to 14 and it would have been a draw. An absolute <laughs> clean draw. But that one little man at armsman managed to put down his put down his enemy and then get in there and dousing that building. That was it. That was what it all came down to. Unbelievable. Oh my oh, god. Gosh. That main big fight that was in the <laughs> middle with everybody just gummed up in that channel with Theodric and yeah. Leopold and Gashrak yeah. and all of the boys. About three rounds of pure oh combat my back and forth. God, yeah. that got to be crazy. That got <laughs> so gnarly. Um, but so cool. You know, yeah. my, my armor saves finally oh. started coming through so strong. The lady was with me. And you. then the lady was with me. Yeah. Oh my God. Maybe that the grail was oh, in that house. Oh my God. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> the lady. That prey. That prey at the start was so clutch. Oh my God. The, the, the classic Bretonian prey. God, I love it. It's such a fun and flavorful rule. And it's it got me through the game. It got yep. me through it, baby. Yep. Jesus, it was so close. It was so close. A um, bit sad that the Minotaur didn't get to shine as much nah. as he could have. He did. Um, he, did. Yeah. he did. You know, he held that flank down. He yeah. kept me kept me away from the building. Um, and just the, just his presence very much kept me away from that side. And that building was burnt, burnt down because of it. <laughs> So two Minotaurs next game. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. We'll see. We'll see what we're doing next game. Um, I don't know if we'll keep going with these same factions, whether I'll start having a look at, you know, bringing my dwarves or my orcs and goblins into this. Um, maybe my vampire counts, depending on what I can get painted between now and then, because I do only need to get painted a very small amount. Manny B also has a very small lizard man for Yeah. You know, that we could potentially paint up a very small amount for. Getting some lizard man on the table would be pretty yeah, sick. Be sick. That would be pretty sick. Um, but yes, holy crap. What a great game. I loved that. It was, was so fun. wild. That was so wild. What a cool system. Oh my god. It was a bit weird that we we pivoted into the, yeah. you know, the, the, the different way of putting people out of action once they were knocked down. Honestly, I think it's I think it's the right way yeah, to go. It just reduces um, the amount of yeah, just gumming up, gumming just up, absolutely yeah, going up the words, man, with people that you're just flip flopping around yeah. on the ground. Yeah. Like you know, that guy got like stunned and then rolled over and then stunned, and it was like, okay, I'm seeing why yeah. this is not a thing in like Mordheim, which is very much what this game is like a kind of little microcosm yeah. of. So. Felt weird doing it in the middle of the game, but I think we made the right yeah, choice. Yeah. You know, it We'd was still be going otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed we would. Indeed we would. But that is absolutely going forward how we are going to treat that situation. But that is it. Guys, if you enjoyed this video anywhere near as much as we enjoy playing it, don't forget, give us that thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell, give me a comment, let me know what you thought. I'm super keen uh, to hear your thoughts. Um, I always respond to you people. I love chatting to you guys, so let me know. But, until next time, I'm Stoss, this is Maddie B, happy wargaming, and be good to your mother. <laughs>